hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the full stack feature to apply coupon code on the cart and in today's video we will create the increase product quantity feature of the cart so let's get started so to increase the quantity of the product in the cart we will create an api and to create this API, we can write the method in the cart service implementation. And this method will be a public method and it will return order DTO. And we can name this method as increase product quantity. And in the params of this method, we will accept add product cart DTO. And as you know, in the add product cart DTO, we have user ID and the product ID. We will get the current active order by this user ID and we will get the product by this product ID. And then we will update the user cart. So let's go back to cart service implementation. And here in this method, first of all, we need to get the active cart of the user. And for that, we can copy this existing method from our apply coupon method and we can paste it here. Now we need to pass the user ID which we can get from add product in card DTO by using get user ID method. After getting the active card, we need to get the product and we can declare here one optional variable of product and we can name this variable as optional product. And here we need to call the product repository dot find by ID method. And in the params, we can pass the product ID, which we can get from our add product DTO. After getting the product, we need to get the cart item. And for that, we can create another optional variable of cart items. And we can name this variable as optional cart item. And here we can call our cart repository and we need to call the find by product ID and order ID and user ID. And here in the params, first of all, we need to pass the product ID, which we can get from add product card DTO dot get product ID. After the product ID, we need to pass the order ID, which we can get from active order dot get id after the order id we need to pass the user id which we can get from add product in card dto dot get user id now after this we will write one if condition and we will check our optional product and we can call here is present method and after that we need to check our optional cart item as well so we can follow the same process and if one of the optional product or optional cart item is not present, then we will return null. And this null will represent the bad request. Now in this if condition, we will create another variable for the cart item. And we will set the value by calling optional cart item dot get method. And after the cart item, we will create another variable for the product. Now, as we have our active order and cart item, now we can update the details. And first of all, we will call the active cart dot set amount method. And here we will update the amount by calling active order dot get amount. And we need to sum this amount with product dot get price. And after the amount, we need to update the total amount of the order. So we can call the set total amount method. And here we need to follow the same process. And first of all, we will get the total amount from the active order. And then we will sum it with product dot get price. After updating the amount and total amount in the order, now we need to update the quantity in the cart item so we can call our cart item 
dot set quantity and here we need to call the cart item dot get quantity to get the existing quantity and then here we need to add one in it after this we need to write one if condition and in this if condition we will check if we have coupon in the order or not and we can do this by calling active order dot get coupon and then we will use not equal to null if we don't have any coupon in the order then we can straight away save the details and we will call the cart items repository dot save method and we will pass the cart item after the cart item we need to update the order details so we will call the order repository dot save method and we will pass active order and at the end we will write the return statement and we will call active order dot get dto method now let's write the body of this if condition and in this if condition we will calculate the discount amount and the net amount after applying the coupon and then we will update the amount in the order so for that we already wrote the code and we can copy these lines from our apply coupon method and we can paste them here and we need to update this line and we can write here active order dot get coupon dot get discount our increase product quantity method is completed now we can copy this and we can mention it in cart service now let's go to the cart controller and let's write the endpoint for this API and to write the endpoint we can copy this add product to cart API and we can paste it here and for the URL we can replace this cart with the word addition and we can rename this method to increase product quantity and in the response entity now we will return order DTO and instead of returning this method call we can return response entity dot status and in the status we will pass http status and we will return created after this we will call the body method and in the body method we will call our cart service dot increase product quantity and in the params we will pass the add product in the cart DTO and our endpoint is completed as well now let's run the backend application as you can see our application is up on port 8080 now let's go to our frontend application and let's call this API in our angular application and inside the customer service we can copy this add to cart api method and we can paste it here and we need to rename this method to increase product quantity and for the url we can pass addition instead of the cart and our increase product quantity api call is ready now we can save this file and let's go to the cart.component.ts and here we need to write one method to increase the quantity and we can name this method same as increase quantity and in the params of this method we will accept product id and in this increase quantity method we will call our customer service dot increase quantity method and in the params we will pass the product id which we are getting from the params and then we can call subscribe method and we can write the arrow function and inside this method we can use the snack bar and we can show the message to the user that product quantity increased and after this we need to update the page so we can call 
the get cart method and we can update the details of the cart now let's save this cart.component.ts file and let's copy the name of the method and let's go to the html file and here on the add circle outline icon button we need to use the click event and we will call the same method increase quantity and in the params we will pass the product id which we can get from item dot product id now let's save this file as well and as you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and let's validate this increase quantity functionality and after the login we can click on this cart button and we can see our cart details here now let's click on this plus icon button and as you can see we got the message product quantity increased and we can see the quantity too now and you can see our total amount and amount got updated as well according to the quantity and that's it for this video and in the next video we will create the full stack functionality for our decrease quantity method